Hiking is my job, it's my sport. I love doing it. And I just want to be known as someone that pushed the sport, represented it for what it is. When I was born, my dad had just become a world champion. He won the 93 world. When I was four years old, my family and I, we dropped everything to move into an RV. We would go to the river and kayak. We would go wherever we wanted to go just because we had that power. Just an amazing way to grow up. From far back as I can remember, I knew I loved the water. Being in a kayak, being outside in nature, for me, there wasn't a question of what I wanted to do. I saw it right away, and I wanted to make everything I do based around kayaking. My breakout year, I would say, though, was 2011. I had just won the Grand Prix, which is an invitational only 25 of the world's best paddlers in Canada. We did freestyle, racing, all that stuff, and I actually took first there. And also that season, I won three gold medals and one bronze at the World Championship. That's when it was like, okay, I'm not just Eric Kidd anymore, he's a, another pro kayaker. Kayaking, it doesn't matter how good you get at it. In the end, you're gonna have to work in some way to support yourself. In 2004, we actually started Jackson Kayak, which is our family business. My dad had just left another company and he decided that he wanted to make his own boat and do things his own way. The company has grown so much to the point that we're now the number one whitewater selling brand. I'll sell boats, I go teach clinics, stuff like that. Video is my main job, but I do shoot photos. If a new boat comes out, we'll shoot a video, we'll shoot interviews. We just push out as much media as we can. For about eight months out of the year, I'm on the road. There's competitions on the west coast to east coast. We'll spend a month or two on the Ottawa River in Canada. Then we'll come back to Rock Island, and Rock Island's also where we base out of when we want to travel in the wintertime whether it's to Mexico or Africa or somewhere new. Half of the experience of kayaking is actually getting to the rivers, whether it's going off-road or having to hike 10, 20 miles into a river. We end up on mountainous and really tough roads all the time. I need a truck that I can just throw my stuff in, rip down to the river, pull it out, go for a session. A truck for kayakers is about as important as anything else. I right, check the weather real quick. Hard storms have passed. Looks like I got about three hours until the next thunderstorm. All right, let's hit the water. When you're coming up to the lip of a waterfall, all you see is the horizon line. So much adrenaline builds up. As you come up to the point of no return and you're about to fall, everything kind of goes blank. That moment when you finish the waterfall and you're paddling away safely and you're looking back up at what you've just done, it's such an incredible experience. You don't have to sacrifice what you love, whether it's kayaking, your family. You can make that your way of work, your way of living your life. I definitely couldn't imagine any other life to be living. I love where I'm at. I'm super happy and super humble, and I just hope to kayak for the rest of my life.